Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my next guest this evening is an Emmy Award winning actor you know from The Birdcage, The Simpsons, and Brockmire. He now stars in the new series, Hello Tomorrow. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Hank Azaria. That was very nice. Hello. Wow. How are you, Hank? I'm well, better now. Uh, yes. Yeah. Always I, feels I, a little better with the uh, uh, validation. Yeah. Yeah. I could use it because I've been having horrible problems lately. You have? Uh, Perhaps I could help. What's wrong with you, well, Hank? I have, some, I, well, I have some shame around it, too, because I swore I wouldn't do this, but um, I've started watching The Bachelor again. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm like a full Pacino Godfather 3, like, they pulled me back in. Steve. <laughs> no? But you know, I, I am a. I, you know, it's like I have a love hate relationship with the show mm. uh, because um, I have like OCD rituals around it. Like, I, I count the likes, for example. Oh, like, like, like. Yeah, like, like, like. like uh, the record, by the way, is 33 likes in a two minute and 22 second conversation. <laughs> And yes. it's always, it drives me insane. It's always some young lady with a vocal fry. Yeah, who's sure. like, um, so like, I just wanted to like talk because like, um, <laughs> we like had this like connection at first. And then like, like now, like I kind of threw up in my mouth like a little bit because <laughs> like, I'm afraid you're like not here for like the right reasons. And <laughs> I just want you to know that like, I, I don't just like you. I like, I like, like, like you. <laughs> so thanks, thanks a lot. Seems like a dangerous, seems like a dangerous drinking game. Exactly, like yes. high Bob. But you, I don't drink anymore. But if I did, I would drink every time somebody said like. Now, I'd be we, wasted. We've talked about this for your love of uh, uh, impressions. You know, doing vocal stylings of all. You're famous for doing that sort of thing. Is there is there any impression right now that you're particularly enjoying? Because yeah. people can get into like little <laughs> you know little ruts. Well, I got into little ruts. Year, I do nothing but obscure old impressions nobody cares about anymore. Like, yeah, so weird. Like, like Eric Roberts, young Eric Roberts, <laughs> from Pope of Greenwich Village, man. Like, no. I was going to bet on a racehorse, but they took my <laughs> thumb, man. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, but they fine, did. He curses it's a lot. It. it was worth it. It was worth. Yeah. yeah. Like I do, you know, I do young Jack, young Jack Nicholson, you know. Yeah. Hold the chicken salad between your knees, sweetheart. <laughs> which is different than old Jack, which got louder and gruffer for some <laughs> damn reason. I don't understand. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Actually, to circle back to The Bachelor for a moment. Yes. Because uh, I'm a little, I, I'm, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't therapize it yeah, yeah. completely yet. Yes, yes. But it does involve an old school impression. I will, like, I, I watch it from like a clinical standpoint, like, um, almost like a science experiment. Like, I have a background in, I was a psych major, and so I play spot the dysfunction as I watch it. <laughs> I really do. Like, oh, the codependent right there. Up, oh, she's an alcoholic. Major trust issues right there. And it becomes like a nature documentary almost, like <laughs> Sir David Attenborough. Like, uh. if you notice the horned lizard emerges <laughs> only twice during the lunar cycle to risk a drink at the river, so I'll turn the sound down and watch with my wife and say, the young blonde with the vocal fry <laughs> reaches for the Chardonnay each time she experiences the slightest bit of emotional-like discomfort. <laughs> I had to get that out. Yeah, I had to get that out. I understand. There's another old school one that yeah. I used to do in my stand-up act that yes. never, ever got a laugh. Really? But I, well, oh, then let's hear it. Yeah. <laughs> We can cut it out. No, okay. Let's well, see. did you ever like have jokes that you knew were not going to work, but you just liked them, so you did it anyway? Many, many times. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, this is one of the, Johnny Carson. All okay. Right? Wow. Yes. For you kids, just Google me. Google me. <laughs> so I would do Johnny Carson, uh, <laughs> delivering rock and roll song lyrics. Uh, interesting item in the paper today. How, how many of you saw this? Apparently. There's a lady who's sure 
all that glitters is gold. <laughs> now, now, stay with me. She's buying a stairway to heaven. Is that weird? <laughs> is that some wacky stuff, Stephen? <laughs> See, it gets yes. very... Yeah, I know. Thank you. Yes, sir. That, that, that's the best I'd ever did, and that wasn't great. It was weird. It was that weird. Weird, weird it was stuff. Wild, it was wild. Strange stuff. Weird stuff. You need a pencil. You, uh, you, you now have a, you have a new Apple TV Plus series, Hello Tomorrow. Yes. Which just everything about it appeals to me. Is that right? Because I'm a huge pass through tomorrow guy. You know, I love, I love the vision of the future from the 1950s. Oh, then you'll love this. I, okay, so to, for the people who don't know, explain to them what, what the idea is. It is a retro vision of the future, like the, yeah. the, 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 the 50s modern future we were promised but yes. never got. Right. The jetpacks and the hover cars sure. you know, and the robots. Right. It's like a Jetsons world. And we play and like, like... great, great suits. Very good, like retro 50 suits, but with weird modern futuristic twists on them. Mm -hmm. And like self-tying ties and weird gadgets. And uh, we play these con men, Glen Gary, Glen Ross type uh, real estate salesmen selling condos on the moon. <laughs> yeah. Are these real condos or are you guys just taking people for cash? Uh, that would be a spoiler alert. That's... Uh, <laughs> Something you have to stay tuned for to we, see. We have, a, we have a clip here. What, what are we about to see? Do you know? My character, uh, Eddie, is uh, he's, a, he's a gambling addict. He's a sports betting addict. And he tries to give his buddy some love advice, but this is how it comes out. Women, like games of chance, live in realms beyond reason, OK? A mystic mindset is called for hunches, omens, instincts, not avalanches of explanatory blah, blah, blah. If I'm clear and open with her, and she's clear and open with me... Disaster. That's a disaster. Look at me, OK? I'm working hard to get my girl up to the moon right now. Do I talk her ear off about that? No, I don't. Do I heed certain auspicious signs? Absolutely, which have coalesced over and over again around milk. Milk and dairy in general. Look at this, look at this. Right here. Volts by three on the money line with 61 ringers. Now. What size do you buy milk in? 64. 64 ounces. Come on, simple math. I see. Herb, if you love her, find your milk and follow it. So, we have to take a quick break, Hank Azaria, but don't go anyway. <laughs> don't go anywhere or anyway. No, no, just go. We're going. I'm not doing this one again. We'll be right back.